Hey, welcome to Color Up. Today we're gonna to look at a strategy where we play the hard ways, we're gonna hop the hard ways, we're gonna play some other numbers too, but we're really looking to rock and roll with this strategy and really color up. All right, today's strategy is part of my Dice Advice series where viewers submit strategies and I roll them out. So today, Gage Workman submitted The Rock. And uh, I guess he calls this rock because it utilizes the hard way bets a lot. But let's go ahead and see how this works out. All right, for the come out roll, we're gonna bet all the hard ways on the hop. So let's, if you're interested in the hop bet layout, this you can find it on my website. But what we're, we're gonna do for the come out roll is take $6 and cover all the hard ways. So we've got the 2-2, two, 3-3, two, three, three, four, 4 and 5-5. Five, five. And we're gonna hop them instead of play them here just because they're gonna pay 30 to one for the hard way, but the difference is they don't stay up. They're a one roll bet. And then the other hard ways left, typically you don't think of them as hard ways, but they are, are the two and the 12. So for the come out roll, we've got all the hard ways covered. If any of them hits, we're going to win $30. So we win 25, $30 for, let's say the 12 rolls. We're gonna win $30. These five bets are gonna be losers, right? So what we're gonna do, we wanna replace those five bets. So we gotta give up $5 to replace them. So we'll get those replaced. And then he says he wants to press whatever number hits up to $10. So in this case, the, we're gonna assume the 12 roll, we'll press that to 10. And basically we rack $16 or profit $16. We're hoping for the number to repeat you know, low probability, but heck, if it does happen, we're pressed up, we still made money, and it would be a very exciting thing. If we don't hit a hard way and a point gets established, let's say it's a five, so we lose our $6, and now we're ready to make our normal bets. We're going to place the six and eight for $12, and then this is, a, this is we're gonna place the hard ways again. Remember the strategy is called the rock, lots of hard ways. We're gonna bet $5 on the four and $5 on the 10. So there's only three ways to roll the four and 10, and now we've got one of the ways bet here. The next thing in his strategy says to make a $5 come bet. Now, this would work great if it were a $5 table. If it comes up to a number, he then says to put double odds on it. But, you know, it's tough to find $5, so I'm gonna make a little adaption here, and we're going to make this a $10 bet because the rest of this will work for a $10 table. So instead of a $5 come bet, we're gonna make a $10 come bet. Now, if it comes up to a number, let's say the nine, we'll just put single odds on it of $10 instead of double odds with the $5 bet. So $10 flat bet, and then we'll just do a $10 and odds bet. And this is our basic setup. We're gonna roll with three numbers and then the two hard ways. If, if for whatever reason, let's say we had a come bet and it came up on the eight, well, we would, for, for stars, we, we would get paid for our eight, but we can just move this over to a number, another number, you could pick it. So we'll go with five, and then again, you'll wanna do your single odds. So you can rack up some pennies, and then you've got, again, your three numbers. Anytime a number gets hit, you wanna replace it with another come bet. If, it, if it's a six or eight, so this would come down, you get your flat, and your odds, you always wanna have that six and eight covered. So we would go ahead and put a $12 place bet and then try to make another come bet. So we always want the six and eight working for us and they're always gonna to try to establish a third number. If another number rolls, let's say it's a five, comes into the five, well, we just need three numbers. We can pull down our place bet here on the nine and ask him to use that as our odds on the five. So we'd be set up again. That's it, that's the only strategy. Well, the other thing is if a hard way does happen to hit, so you would win $35, pay seven to one for both of these. Again, he's gonna take a chance and press it up. If the 10 roll, we're gonna press up to 10, collect a little bit and see if we can hit some lightning in a bottle and make this strategy rock, right? He suggests a $500 bankroll. Let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, for the come out roll, we're going to ask the dealers to hop all the hard ways. So let's throw in $10. We're gonna get $4 and change and get all of our hard ways cover, including the two and the 12. And we're ready to go for the come out roll. Let's see what happens. And we're looking for any double, double on the dice. Eight, eight easy, eight's gonna be our point. 
So we'll go ahead and mark that up. These are going to come down. And then here we're just going to start with the six and eight, twelve dollars each. We're going to make a ten dollar combat, and then we're going to do five dollar hard, four and ten dealer. That's our setup. Now let's see what happens. Here we go. Five. No field five. All right, a come bet's gonna travel to the five, and then we're just going to drop $10 for the odds, single odds. And again, I adapted this for a $10 table. If you're new to the game, every the table minimum tells you what every bet has to be. This table, I'm assuming it's a $10 minimum, so no matter what bet you make, it all has to be at least $10. Now that doesn't apply to the prop bets or the bets in the middle of the table. Those will be under the table minimum. Typically, it's always gonna be $1 until you reach a $25 table. So once you're at a $25 table, all of these bets over here have to be a minimum of $25. Over here in the middle, that usually bumps up to a $5 minimum. Here on a $10 table, you're gonna be looking at a $1 minimum bet here. All right, let's see if we can roll some numbers. Five, six, and eight is what we're looking for. Nine, center field nine, or hard way, right? Got one each of those combinations. 10, 10 easy. So we're gonna lose our hard way. And I don't think he says in his instructions whether he keeps it up, but I'm gonna assume he does just because that's kind of the gist of the strategy here, right? It is the rock. We need some hard ways working for us. All right, let's keep rolling. Eight, eight the hard way. We don't have a bet here, but we do have it here. So 12 is going to win 14. So we'll just collect that and continue on our way, looking for that five, six, or eight. Seven, not gonna happen that time, and down come all of our bets. All right, down they come. Puck is off, and we're gonna have a new shooter. All right, for the new shooter, we're gonna get $6 to the dealer and ask him to place all of the hard way hops. So we can get the two 12, four, six, eight, and 10 covered. All those will pay 30 to one. And here we go. Nine, center field nine, nine's gonna be our point. Hard ways, well, remember these are all one roll bets, so they're gonna come down. Let's go ahead and get our six and eight covered for 12 each. I don't have enough ones, let's throw in another nickel. We'll get a dollar change, get these set up as $12 and ten dollars coming and we want the hard ways we'll have to throw in a green we'll get three and change and we'll get our hard four and ten covered all right here we go let's see what happens six or eight shooter would be great six six easy so our come bet's going to travel into the six our twelve dollar bet is going to get paid fourteen and you can ask, tell the dealer I want 10 in odds. So we can pull that down. We'll set up for 10 in odds. We're gonna rack this. We just have two numbers. So let's go ahead and, and keep the combat working. Try and get our third number. All right, here we go. Five. So the combat's gonna to travel to the five and we're gonna throw in single odds on that five. And let's see what happens. Five, six, or eight. 12, the hard way. We could have used that earlier, right? You're usually not gonna mention, they're not gonna say it the hard. I don't know why, it's just, it is. It is technically a hard way, but there's only one way. So five, all right, our five is gonna come down. We're gonna win 15 for the odds, 10 for the flat or $25. We want three numbers. So we're gonna go ahead and leave 10 in the come and we're gonna rack the rest there. All right, here we go. The come also provides a little hedge there in case we do see red. 10, easy 10. So this is gonna travel to the 10. We're gonna lose our hard way, but we'll go ahead and cover our hard way back and we'll get single odds or $10 an odds. So that's, now we, we got all the combinations of 10 covered. So we'd love to see a 10 again. Six, eight, or 10, shooter, here we go. 
10 would be ideal. Six, six easy, we'll take the six. So this is gonna come down, you're gonna win 12 for your odds, 10 for your flat, so 22. And while we always, we wanna have a come bet to try and get our third, the six and eight we don't wanna leave open, right? So let's go ahead and get that placed for $12 and then we'll replace it with a come bet if we can. So we'll go ahead and rack this up. He just says you always wanna have those covered somehow. The, the other numbers, it doesn't matter. They could be open and move your come bet up, but the six and eight, he just wants covered. All right, here we go. Six, easy, there we go, and that's why, I guess. Again, our come bet's gonna travel. We're gonna get paid 14 for a $12 bet. We can just ask the dealer, let's do 10 in odds and we'll have $10 coming. We're just gonna rack some pennies. Set up and ready to go. Six, eight, we'd love to see that 10 about now. Six, again, six easy. So instead of this coming down and this coming back up, the dealer's just gonna pay you off and on. $12 for the odds, 10 for the flat. So you're gonna get $22 off and on. And we can just rack that right up, straight into our rack. We'd be happy to do that all day. All right, here we go. Nine. So our come bet's gonna travel to the nine. I guess this is a situation where we have two numbers covered, but he was a risking approximately 20, so I could pull down my odds bet and just have the nine and 10 working, um, which would be about the equivalent amount of risk. We missed out on some of the, on the big win with the odds, which is an amazing bet but I think he wanted to stick to a particular amount. So we'll go, we'll, we'll do it that way. We'll take that down. So six, eight, nine, or 10. The high side is what we're looking for. Eight, eight easy. It's our place bet. So 12 is just gonna win 14. I'm gonna go ahead and pay out 15 for one. We'll rack that up. And keep rolling. Here we go. 10, 10 the hard way. All right, we're gonna win two, both ways here. My dice rolled there at the end. So our come bet is gonna come down and get paid. Unfortunately, we took off our odds. And then our hard way is going to win 35. Remember, if one of these hits, he wants to press it. So we're gonna press it to 10. Hopefully we can hit that hard way. And then we've got three numbers, so we can just take all this and rack it up. Although this one, we'll go ahead and throw odds on. Odds on our nine. And we'll rack up the rest here. All right, we're set up and looking for the six, eight, or nine, five. No field five, and we don't have a bet on it. It's okay. We've got a lot of numbers covered, but that's not one of them. Nine point hit. Hopefully that's the first time, because I don't remember. I forgot all about the puck, because we don't really care about it. So I don't know if the puck's on or off. Uh, anyway, so our nine's going to come down. And we're gonna get paid 15 for the odds, 10 for the flat, or $25. And our puck's gonna come off. Let's go ahead and rack our winnings. And then our place bet follows the puck, it's off. Our odds are also off. Our flat bet is a contract bet, so our come bet, that has to be working. You can't do anything about it. So the six is gonna work. These bets we can pull down. Um, it's gonna depend on the table if they're automatically off or on. I'm just gonna leave them there and assume that they're off. We'll go ahead and put a, a marker that they're off. But we are gonna throw, we're on a come out roll, so let's go ahead and throw in our $6 and get the, all, the, all the hard ways hopped for the one roll. So two, 12, four, six, eight, and 10. All right, shooter. Looking for any hard way on the come out. Here we go, eight, eight easy. Eight's gonna be our point. So we'll mark that up. These are going to be losers. Our bets are now going to be working. Remember we have $10 on that 10. This is, we've got two numbers up here. We wanna look for a third, so we'll go ahead and make a come bet. All right, shooter, here we go. Eight, eight the hard way, eight hard. It's the point hit. Come bet's gonna travel. We're gonna get paid 14. We could 
pull this down and ask the dealer to put $10 in odds on our eight. So we're set up for the next round. Our puck's gonna go off. So we'll just go ahead and collect all this. Puck's off again, our odds are off, our flat bets are working. Again, we'll just assume we're in a casino where our hardways are off, but we do want to cover the hardway hopping. One roll bets for the come out. And let's see if we can hit one. All right, same hot shooter coming out. Let's see what happens here. Five, I don't think we've hit that yet on the come out. All right, point is going to be five. Down come the one roll bets. These bets are gonna be working now. We've only got two numbers up here, so let's throw in $10 to try and get another one going and see what happens. Here we go. Six, six, easy six. So here it's gonna pay off and on for $22. So we'll just take the $22 and stick it on our rack and keep going at it. Off and on. Seven, all right, we finally hit the seven. So down come our bets. The last come does get paid there for a little rebate and the puck's gonna come off. See how long we've we been going for. Should I roll one more hand? Let's try it one more time. That was pretty interesting. All right, here we go. We're gonna be coming out. So let's go ahead and get our, we've got plenty of ones. Six dollars to cover our one roll hard ways. And here we go, coming out, looking for the hard way, not gonna happen this time. Six, easy. So these are gonna come down. We wanna have our six and eight always going, so let's go ahead and toss 24 to the dealer. Six and eight, please, you got a bet. We're gonna get $10 coming to get our third number. And then we're going to cover the hard four and 10 for one combination on the hard way. All right, we're set up and looking for some numbers. Here we go. Short roll, but this is gonna drop. They're gonna call it a nine. One of them hit the back wall. Come bet's gonna to travel to the nine. We're gonna go ahead and drop 10 in odds. We've got our three numbers and we're ready to go. Let's see them, here we go. No, quick seven. All right, them's the brakes. Puck is off. That was so short. We'll do it one more time. All right, let's cover the one roll hops or one roll hard ways for one roll. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Six easy. We're out on that six. So far, these have been wasted bets, but you never know. It's a fun payoff if and when it does hit. You gotta hit it once in every five tries to make it financially make sense, right? It pays 30, but we're risking six every time. So on, after five times, we have risked 30. So we've gotta hit it in five, within the five rolls for it to break even or make sense. All right, we're out on that six. Let's go ahead. We'll just throw in a quarter, say place the six and eight for 12 each. We'll get a dollar change. Get those guys set up. And then we'll go ahead and get $10 coming and cover the hard ways for five each. All right, shooter, let's see a little bit longer roll this time. 10, 10 the hard way, awesome. Come bet's gonna travel to the 10. Our 10 over here is gonna get paid 35. We're gonna press that up to 10, see if we can hit that again. And we want some odds on our 10 here. So let's go ahead, drop $10 on odds. Three numbers, here we go. And we're heavy on that 10, we'd love to see it. Six, easy, it's one of our numbers, we'll take it. It's also the point, so 12 is gonna win 14. Puck is gonna come off and we'll just rack this up. All right, so puck's off means these bets are off, our odds are off, and we're at a table that assumes our hard way's off, but we're going to do our come out, one roll bets. All right, same shooter coming out. Let's see a hard way. Let's get this rock strategy going. 
Five points going to be five. All right, these are coming down. And these bets are going to be working. We've got our three numbers. And here we go. Nine. We don't have the nine covered. We don't have the five or nine. The rest of the numbers we'd like to see, especially that 10. Not going to happen. There's the seven. So down these come. And then we're going to end it there. Count it up and see where we stand. We started with 500. We've got one, two, three, 350, 325, no, three, 350, 375, 400, 415, 416. So let me go ahead and color that up. $416 color up. And there you go. There is the rock strategy. Let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, if you have fun with the hard ways, especially hopping them was kind of fun, you know, give it a try. Until next time, good luck on coloring up.